Hello everyone! Maligayang maligayang Pasko po sa inyong lahat. You know, a loving family is a treasure from God. So to all the family in our midst, I declare Joshua 24.15 that as a family, you will serve and worship the Lord. I declare the wisdom of God be with you to make best choices for your family, to shower you with His grace, to trust Him even you don't see immediate answer to your situations and to give you hope to carry on in spite of the circumstances around you. I declare that greatness in your life and your household shall be resurrected and made manifest in Jesus' name. I declare that the devourer will not consume any of your ordained blessings. I declare that every move the enemy makes against you will be reversed with powerful breakthroughs. I declare that every day of your life is crowned with bountiful goodness of God in Jesus' name. Have a blessed Christmas and a fruitful 2022. God bless you all. Hello! Maligayang Pasko sa inyong lahat. And sa araw ng Pasko, no, I want to give you yung pinaka-greatest gift. No, greatest gift and that is Jesus. And Jesus really wants to bless ang bawat isa sa inyo. And sabi nga niya dito, no, gusto ko lang i-share. Sabi dito sa Malakay 3.10, na naririnig na, na, na to lagi, na sabi dito, You are under a curse for you are a whole nation has been cheating me. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse so there will be enough food in my temple. Diba? Na sabi ni God is, ano, i-bring natin yung kung, kung ano yung meron sa kanya. And actually, God is not just testing us, but actually, God is wanting to release us from that curse so that the moment we give, God can give us in overflow. Kaya nga, sabi niya dito, no, he, it continues, says the Lord of the heaven or heaven's armies, I will open the windows of heaven for you. I will pour out a blessing so great you won't have enough room to take it. Try it. Put me to the test. Your crops will be abundant for I will guard them from insects and diseases. Your grapes will not fall from the vine before they arrive, says the Lord of the heavens of armies. So today, no, it, this is the gift that I am giving unto you a declaration of God's fullness, God's abundance in your finances and provision in whatever you need. May it be a need, ano, a material need, a physical need, a health needs, whatever needs that you have, God will simply provide it for you. And even sa mga taong nag ask ng love life, no? I I am declaring it for you. So abundance in every aspect of your life and financial breakthrough. Sa araw ng Pasko, receive this gift. Merry Christmas! Maligayang Pasko! To all married couples out there, here's our declarations for all of you. May your marriage always bring glory to God, joy to one another, and blessings to men. May love and laughter fill your hearts and your home as well. May you face every challenges hand in hand, knowing that with God's grace, you'll conquer all obstacles together. May God fill your hearts with unceasing gratitude. May God be your vision, strength, and constant companion. May God's blessing and favor be upon your marriage from today until the rest of your lives. Lastly, may you see yourselves as God's gift for each other through your marriage. In Jesus' name, Amen! amen. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! Hey everyone! Merry Christmas! Right, so today we just want to declare to you fresh encounters with the Lord as you seek Him in your daily devotions. We want to declare upon you that you would have the discipline and the hunger to press in for more of Jesus. Amen. And that you would be able to hear and obey mm -hmm. the whisper of the Holy Spirit. We also want to declare upon you that the Lord would give you the courage and the humility to ask Him for forgiveness, mm -hmm. for wisdom, covering, favor, breakthrough, and the change that you want to see. Right. Also, we want to declare that you can be as who you are in front of the Lord, whether in public or in private. 
because you know that public worship is the outcome of your private worship. And lastly, we also want to declare that the Lord would reveal to you what is worship He requires of you and that He would enable you to respond and obey. A blessed Christmas, everyone. And here is my Christmas declarations over our workplaces. I declare that as we enter our workplaces, we bring and usher the presence of God. I declare of supernatural favor from our colleagues and supervisors. I declare wisdom be upon us to deal challenging situations that we will be facing at work. So I declare financial prosperity and stability in every of our company and in every sectors that we are in. I declare that we can effectively speak the Word of God into our workplaces, that our workplaces will be a platform to share the love of God. And finally, I declare for a fresh supply of strength to do our job and that God will anoint our projects, our ideas, even our energy, so that even in our smallest accomplishments at work, we will bring honor and glory to God. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hi Church, I wish you and your family a very blessed and Merry Christmas. You know, as you prepare for 2022, I declare you to be like a tree planted by the streams of water that whatever you do will prosperous. You know, I declare rains and more rains fall on you. You know, that whatever you sow, you shall reap a great supernatural harvest. I declare the hands of our Lord be on you to set you apart to be, you know, the head and not the tails. I declare God's divine health to be on you, on your mind, your body, your spirit, that every part of your being is covered by the blood of Jesus, that you are strong and whole and healthy in everywhere. All sicknesses, all infirmities and diseases be far away from you and your family. Every cell, every fibrin, bones, issues, tissues and molecule to be renewed in the name of Jesus. I declare you to be, you know, to have more than enough that you are a great contributor and conduit, you know, of the kingdoms of God. I declare your entire family will be saved. Every prodigal will return. The backslider will repent. You know, and the lost. You know, will be found. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord shall be on your family. I declare every single one of your gifts will be activated and be effective in Jesus' name. I declare you to be the greatest soul winners you know, as you obey God's great commissions. May you be the healing hands and the serving feet of Jesus that whatever you go at any time. May the Lord God, our Father, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit ignite the fire of first love within you every single day. May your hearts continue to burn with the love for God, you know, and to be tender towards others. You are God's beloved child, and nothing can separate you from His love for you. God bless you.